Hello everyone, I'm Natalie Kunzman, MD, and I don't normally get into a whole lot of product endorsement, but I have to bring some very exciting news to you, and that is regarding a product line that is a nanotechnology-based CBD product line, and some of that is of the oral drops, and another is of the cream formulation. So, what is nanotechnology? I am certainly not a physicist nor a scientist who has developed any of these product lines, but nanotechnology makes use of very small nanoparticles or very small particles of a base chemistry. And the advantage of nanotechnology is to increase bioavailability. And as a sidebar, this has been out in the pharmaceutical world for quite an extensive period of time with products that are already launched. And when CBD, for instance, is ingested, naturally so, some of the particle nutrients are lost by the time it passes through areas such as the stomach and the intestinal tract and through the pH environment. But with nanotechnology and smaller particulates, even that nanotechnology is helping to create a primarily fat-soluble compound, the oil, and allowing it to become somewhat water-soluble. So there are more particles that can be absorbed. So if more particles are absorbed, we need a lesser amount to get the same amount needed. And many times there is a faster onset of the therapeutic events or the therapeutic effects. Now the product line I'm talking about very interestingly is using energy such that it is using sound and light infusion at the quantum level to create the nanotechnology for the absorption. So let's remind ourselves what is important about CBD. Again, we have CBD receptors in our bodies, in our brain, in our gut-related system, at the nerve endings, at the skin levels. So it is being researched to be causing relief of arthritis pain and chronic pains. It also seems to be doing a reasonable job at chronic nerve-related pains or neuropathies. It is doing a tremendous job at reducing systemic inflammation and where the MS patient is concerned it will reduce muscle spasms and other MS symptoms. Now for those cancer patients who are receiving chemotherapy that have a lot of nausea and vomiting it is doing a pretty good job at those cancer patients for relief at the gut level. Now it may slow cancer cell growth it may relieve anxiety and depression, but I have noticed a tremendous, where this product line comes in, tremendous relief of the insomnia and improving the sleep architecture, which is when our growth hormone is secreted at night, which is when we go through our cellular repair in our brains and our bodies. There is some research out there that it may aid in nicotine and heroin addiction, and great research with the treatment of acne and psoriasis and extremely inflammatory skin conditions. So as a reminder, this product line, which is called New Light, and I think it is wonderfully named because of its light and energy infusion to create the quantum science adding to the nanotechnology it has a cream formulation again the benefit of nanotechnology is penetrance and absorption so where a cream formulation is concerned the best creams out on the market right now for the cbd to penetrate need that thc to help it penetrate however we can eliminate the THC arm if we use the nanotechnology 
to get the infusion to get through the skin and maximize absorption. So again, acne skin and psoriasis skin is not necessarily at the epidermal and the dermal layer. However, it becomes a vehicle of, of absorption to get into the immune system and quiet down the inflammatory response. And there are several programs on YouTube talking to the psoriasis effect and CBD seems to be going after several arms of the inflammatory response and not just some of the antigens and the interleukins where some of the pharmaceutical companies have their mainstay in treatment. So again, it's working at multiple arms of the inflammatory system. Now, as far as the oral absorption, we get into the same issue where virtually no THC is needed. Once you get down to the nanoparticulate and nano small particle absorption, as well as aiding it in creating some water solubility in addition to the lipid solubility. Again, uh, there are product research statistics as it has gone through its appropriate evaluation processes, which I will link to this video. And exciting news on the horizon. Again, less is more. And we now have the ability to infuse our energy work with this wonderful molecule that is in our cannabis plant. Again, I'm Natalie Kunzman, MD. If there are any questions, please do not hesitate to submit them to me. And please share this with everyone and subscribe to my channel below. Until we meet again, be well.